Good afternoon, and welcome to the 2016 winter commencement at the University of Evansville. The university's John Wesley Scholar and assistant chaplain, Dr. Dallas Jingles, will offer today's invocation. Please join me in prayer. O oh God, who delights in wisdom the way we delight in the play of little children. God, whose delight of wisdom is so deep 
That is, with wisdom you established the heavens and marked out the foundations of the earth. God who delights in wisdom. We gather today to delight in the wisdom that unifies us, that gives us our identity as a university. We gather to delight in the wisdom that unites us, though we come from different places, different families, different creeds, and with different tastes, hopes, fears, and friends. We are united by our shared delight and wisdom, unified by the free giving and receiving of thoughts, texts, and ideas, by the common dedication of our lives to the quest for and the delight in wisdom. And today we honor those who have given years of their lives to this quest, who left family and friends and ventured beyond the confines of familiarity, those who hearing the faint echoes of wisdom's call wandered onto the winding paths of free inquiry and put their hands to the hard work of learning prudence and acquiring intelligence. These paths are long, and this work is the work of a lifetime. But four years is no small beginning, no mean offering of labor, so we honor it today. We pray, O oh God, that as we turn tassels, you crown us with this wisdom, that as we frame diplomas, you encompass us with wisdom, that as we move from the path of academic life onto the many paths we will take as we leave this campus, that wisdom will be our guide. Thank you for the wisdom we honor here today, but now make us people of love. As we honor these here today, may they graduate from the University of Evansville, delighting in the wisdom that has enlivened and undergirded our restless quest together, only to matriculate into the life of love, where all our journeys find their true end in you. Amen. Please stand and join in singing the University of Evansville alma mater hymn to Evansville. The text and music are in the commencement program. Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome. Our coming together today is an opportunity to celebrate accomplishment, to recognize not only our graduates but also our faculty, and to send forth a talented group of young men and women who are quite literally commencing the rest of their lives fortified by an education at a remarkable institution of higher learning. As you move forward into a future that is full of promise and potential, but also with its share of uncertainty, as all futures are, we do hope that you will embrace the values embedded in the life of this institution. Those values include respect for others and their beliefs, whether or not those beliefs mirror your own. We have endured an exhausting election season that is too often focused on issues that divide rather than unify. In one sense, that's to be expected. 
We shouldn't be so naive as to think that this is the first election in which vitriol has often drowned out reasoned discourse. But a casualty of the election cannot be, must not be, our commitment to mutual understanding and a recognition of our common humanity. We will, ha we will have failed you if you don't recognize that what you've learned at the University of Evansville about the natural or physical sciences or institutions or economies or political systems or cultures or the professions is of limited use if, you have, if we have not also nurtured in you an appreciation of our common bonds as people. The international character of a UE education is a key to this appreciation. When I attend the International Bazaar or talk to students from many countries about their homes, I'm moved by the impact their experience has on their sense of possibility and their understanding of what our country represents. Similarly, when I step through the front gates of Harlexton and see our students immersed in an environment dedicated to their engagement with the global community, I'm impressed by our ability to cultivate in our American students an appreciation of the world beyond the shores of the United States. In short, and in the most literal sense, we are all in this together. As graduates, you have an opportunity, more than that, an obligation to help those with whom you come into contact in the years ahead to recognize this fundamental truth. We're going to be recognizing today a person whose commitment to the welfare of others is emblematic of the values of the University of Evansville. As your program notes, at this ceremony, we'll be awarding an honorary bachelor's degree to Mr. Donnie Dunville. For those of you who are veterans of commencements, you have seen this university and others award honorary degrees. It's an important moment for the university and certainly for the recipient of the degree, for it signals that the honoree's accomplishments are of such note that public recognition is warranted. It's a nice gesture, to be sure, but the primary spotlight is, as it should be, on our graduates. At this commencement, however, I do want to draw particular attention to today's honorary degree recipient because the connection between this honor and you as new graduates is direct. I mean that not only because Donnie has dedicated his life to support the students of the University of Evansville, which he has done for more than 40 years, but because he has lived the values of this place values that we want you not only to celebrate, but to emulate. Donnie knows that a community is not simply a collection of individuals seeking to achieve individual goals. Rather, a true community recognizes that we prosper as individuals to the extent that all of us, all of us, have opportunities for growth and achievement. A true community recognizes that service to others is not a sideline, but a foundational element of the lives of its members. Those who truly help to build community understand that selflessness and the gifts of labor and time are priceless. We are better as a community because those like Donnie Dunville are committed to these values, to these ideals in all that they do. As graduates of the University of Evansville, you would do well to learn from the example of folks like Donnie. Our vision statement declares that UE is a place where, quote, students develop the knowledge and skills, vision and wisdom to lead and to serve. If you ask me to describe Donnie, those words, skill, wisdom, service, come immediately to mind. This is what he is and why he has contributed so much to this university. And this is what you ought to strive to be and to do, to use the knowledge and wisdom you've learned in these classrooms and laboratories, in our libraries and faculty offices, in the residence halls and dining hall, not just to serve your own ambitions, but to help those around you realize their goals and dreams and support them in time of need. We're grateful to you, Donnie, for all that you 
have done here, but perhaps more importantly, for the example you set for all of us. A final word to those graduating today. Don't forget that this moment is not only about you. Sir Isaac Newton famously said that if he could see further than others, it was because he stood on the shoulders of giants. Who are the giants in your lives on whose shoulders you stand? They are the folks who brought you into this world, who nurtured you through good times and bad, who were there when you needed them. In truth, you sometimes resisted their guidance, especially when it seemed to you that they just didn't understand you. They just didn't get it. But they have persisted, God bless them, and now it, it is their time to bask in the reflected light of your accomplishments. To put it succinctly, you wouldn't be here this afternoon without them. So have a wonderful day. Enjoy and accept the warm words of praise, for you've earned them. But as you celebrate, don't forget to give mom or dad, or grandma or grandpa, aunts, uncles, friends, any of the folks who've made it possible for you to be here, a hug. Tell them you love them and tell them thanks. So to all of those here, graduates, moms and dads, family members, supporters, to all of you, congratulations. The University of Evansville is very proud of you. Our commencement speaker today is Dr. Kevin Gray, Associate Professor of Sociology and Criminal Justice in the Department of Law, Politics, and Society. Dr. Gray came to UE in 2005. He earned an undergraduate degree in sociology from Spring Hill College, a Master of Science in Criminal Justice from the University of Alabama, and a doctorate in criminal justice from Michigan State University. Dr. Gray serves as advisor to all criminal justice majors and supervises internships in the local community for criminal justice and sociology majors. In addition, he serves as chair of the Admissions and Standards Committee and advises during SOAR and STAR sessions. During the university's spring commencement in May, Dr. Gray was named the 2016 Outstanding Teacher of the Year. The University of Evansville Alumni Association presents this award, award annually to a faculty member who is nominated by students, faculty, or administrators for his or her exemplary teaching abilities. Please welcome Dr. Kevin Gray. Thank you, uh, Dr. Kazee, for that introduction. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, congratulations to the winter graduates of the University of Evansville uh, 2016. Uh, it's been a big year for you guys, uh, even just a big few months. The Cubs won a World Series. There's been a historic election, uh, and today you graduate from college. Congratulations on your accomplishments. Uh, if you would indulge me, I would just like to take a quick second to formally thank the Alumni Association for the award that I received earlier this year. Thank you, guys. Uh, I appreciate this award uh, because I know how truly outstanding my fellow faculty members are at UE and the passion and dedication that they have to you guys, our graduates. Uh, in the past couple of weeks, I've had people come up to me and say, oh, you're giving the commencement speech. Are you nervous? I don't know if you can tell. Uh, and I give this terrified look, uh, and they show a little bit of sympathy, and they say, well, don't worry. Uh, nobody ever remembers those things anyway, <laughs> uh, unless they're terrible. But it's had me thinking back about uh, what I remember from my graduation speakers over 20 years ago when I graduated from Spring Hill College uh, in Mobile, Alabama. A friend of mine gave one of the commencement speeches, and I remember parts of that speech very clearly. I remember that she quoted Bob Dylan, uh, the Nobel Prize winner in literature, Bob Dylan, from his song, It's All Right, Ma, uh, where he talked about people busy being born. Uh, busy being born was important. Uh, in that commencement speech, my friend mentioned that our time as learners didn't end with that graduation ceremony. She encouraged us to continue to learn and move beyond where we were at that point as recent college graduates. 
As I've gotten older uh, and after teaching for some years, I see the relevance of that advice even more uh, to continue to grow. I think people in education are lucky to see that growth in students and the change that students, uh, that the change that happens to students uh, on a regular basis. We've seen that change in you guys, our graduates, as you've moved through UE. We've seen how you've changed and been busy changing uh, from the first uh, semester introductory courses through your senior seminar capstone classes, how students' views and experiences have broadened from before and after they attend Harlexton, how perspectives change after work experiences or internships. Uh, we see how busy students are, uh, how, how busy they have been, and we often are lucky enough to see how busy they continue after they graduate. Uh, so that was my first thought as I prepared to give this speech, this idea of being busy, growing as a person, learning new things, and new information. For the last few years, you've been busy as students. For the last almost two decades, you've been busy with school, jobs, friendships, relationships, family, uh, and you'll continue to be busy with new jobs, new careers, new relationships, and new families. Uh, the idea of changing and growing and learning reminded me of a book uh, that we read here a few years ago for our freshman reading selection. Uh, the book was called Waiting for the Barbarians. Uh, it was a story of a colonial village racked with fear uh, from this vague outside threat. Uh, an unknown, unseen other, a group of barbarians, uh, people in a village uh, were, were responding to this unknown threat, but in very real and very harmful ways, and waiting and preparing for an unknown invasion. But you're never quite sure if that threat is real or not. Uh, there are rumors and misinformation uh, and fear uh, and at one point, my favorite part of the book uh, and why it made me think of this speech today, uh, the main character hears some noises, uh, some strange noises in the night. Uh, and he expresses to the reader, and I quote, uh, for a while I stopped my ears to the noises coming from the hut uh, by the granary where the tools are kept. Then in the night, I took a lantern and went to see for myself. Uh, he picks up a lantern to go find out for himself what is happening. Uh, expressed somewhat differently, uh, he would rather light a candle than curse the darkness. He would rather inquire and learn uh, instead of being a victim to misinformation, rumor, uh, or fears from other people. He picks up his lantern to see for himself and find out for himself. Lighting a candle, carrying a lantern, I use this imagery often in my classes. Uh, I think it's a fitting symbol for education in general. In fact, UE's cornerstone uh, is inscribed, uh, and I quote again, uh, the fear of the Lord uh, is the beginning of wisdom. And that reminds us that the fear or awe in God's work uh, stirs people to inquire. Uh, this college process has hopefully inspired you and prepared you to do the same, uh, to find out, to inquire, to discover for yourself. Uh, as has been mentioned, this ceremony doesn't mark the end of your learning. It also doesn't mark the end of your relationship with UE. Uh, I hope that after you leave here, you still feel connected to UE uh, and the UE community. I hope that you're involved with the Alumni Association and take advantage of the uh, opportunities that they offer and sponsor. I hope that you're uh, connected through the Center for Career Development, uh, who works with students and graduates. Uh, these can benefit you, you personally uh, and your own careers, but they also benefit those students who come to U UE after you. Uh, I encourage you to stay connected through your departments and majors. Uh, we routinely have events featuring alumni. As a professor, some of the most enjoyable experiences are when students come back after graduation uh, and speak to classes uh, or other groups of students. The absolute best is when they express an appreciation, uh, mostly unprompted, uh, for what they've learned from UE. I've heard that appreciation when UE graduates who have gone on into law enforcement come back uh, and speak to a class and mention theories that they've learned that help them understand human nature a little bit better or books that they read in their freshman year seminar. I've heard that appreciation when graduates working in social service agencies helping others have come back asking if we have students available for internships. 
uh, and they mention the concepts and issues they learned in our classes that they now use on a daily basis. That appreciation is expressed when students go on to graduate or law schools uh, and come back and talk about the importance uh, of being able to write well and critically evaluate ideas and express those. You all take these experiences and skills with you. Uh, and this happens across majors and across campus, whether it's police officers, social workers, lawyers, accountants, nurses, or engineers. Graduates of UE uh, are prepared to do their jobs and do those jobs well uh, because of the time uh, and efforts and activities uh, at UE. Uh, I hope that you consider these opportunities uh, to stay connected to UE. Uh, I started this speech with a thank you to the Alumni Association, uh, and I would like to end soon uh, with another thank you uh, to you guys, the graduates. Thank you for choosing UE. Uh, you have contributed to the UE community in many, many ways, uh, and your contributions really are what makes UE special. Uh, you've contributed with your art exhibitions, your music recitals, the theater productions, uh, through sports, both intramural and Division I, through competitions like Concrete Canoe or Bike Race. You've contributed through advocacy work and service work, such as UE Pride or nursing and education students' informational panels. Uh, you've contributed through your philanthropic efforts uh, in Greek life, as well as other charities and fundraisers. As you have been busy growing and contributing, uh, you have helped UE to become a better place. Uh, it was expressed earlier this semester in an email that went out to all of the students, uh, but it is worth repeating. UE is a better, pl better place because you were here. Uh, you've made UE a better place because you're from different parts of Evansville with different backgrounds. Uh, you've made UE a better place because you're from different parts of Indiana or different parts of the United States. You've made UE a better place because you've come from different parts all over the world. You've made UE a better place because of your diverse experiences and multiple contributions to what is all of our common values, community and education. I, I hope that you continue with those values. Uh, I hope you'll be busy being born, learning, changing, uh, shining that lantern, brightening situations so you can better understand them, uh, I encourage you to pick up that lantern and continue to find things out for yourself uh, to make the uncertain more certain uh, and to borrow a phrase to face the future unafraid. Uh, congratulations again and thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Gray. As, as a kid who grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, I didn't appreciate his reference to the Cubs, but th that's okay. We, we do have the Cavaliers, and I won't mention the Browns. The University Honorary Degree Committee receives and considers nominations made on the basis of individual service to the university and individual achievement. Honorary degree recipients exemplify the university's mission. As with all UE degrees, honorary degrees are approved by the faculty and the Board of Trustees. An honorary degree is the highest honor that can be given by the University of Evansville. Donald J. Dunville, on this special occasion, the University of Evansville acknowledges your many personal and professional accomplishments and your contribution to the university's mission. You have enjoyed a distinguished, 42-year career at the university, connecting with the university community in countless ways, and above all, playing a significant role in transforming the lives of our students. If a major component of a degree is the commitment of time and energy in the improvement of one's self and those around them, you have long since met that standard. You truly embody our, our core purpose of being an informed, ethical, and productive citizen. Occasionally, a person of unique talent and temperament comes into an environment where those abilities are expressed most powerfully, and that's when magic happens. Donnie, you have made such magic for more than four decades, and the university is in your debt. Congratula congratulations on your receipt of this honor honorary Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Evansville. You are now a UE graduate.
Each year, the General Board of Higher Education and Ministry of the United Methodist Church grants an Exemplary Teacher Award. This award recognizes excellence in teaching at United Methodist Church-related institutions of higher education. This year, the Exemplary Teacher Award goes to Dr. Phil Plisky. Dr. Plisky is an associate professor in the Department of Physical Therapy at the University of Evansville. Dr. Plisky received his Master of Physical Therapy degree from the University of Evansville and his Doctor of Science degree in Orthopedic Physical Therapy from Rocky Mountain University of Health Professions. He is a board certified clinical specialist in orthopedics through the American Board of Physical Therapy Specialists. He is also a certified athletic trainer and certified strength and conditioning specialist. Dr. Plisky has published and presented internationally on return to sport testing, injury prevention, and field expedient movement testing. He has published numerous peer-reviewed manuscripts in leading scientific journals. His current research is focused on comprehensive movement testing and interventions in athletes, military personnel, and school-aged children. Dr. Plisky founded and directs the Pro Rehab and University of Evansville Sports Residency Program. In its 10th year, the program has a national reputation and has a 100% pass rate of its graduates on the board specialty exam in sports physical therapy. Dr. Plisky has received the Mary Bennett Outstanding Teacher Award four times, a recognition determined by graduating physical therapy students. Dr. Plisky's impact is felt beyond his discipline. He is, for example, director of the ICAMP Center for Teaching Excellence, where his teaching expertise and sharing of up-to-date pedagogical research helps to make his colleagues better teachers. Dr. Plisky, please come forward to receive your award. Brad Coomer, President of the Alumni Association Board of Directors, will welcome today's graduates into the ranks of the alumni. Brad graduated from the university in 1993 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Accounting. Currently, he is a Senior Relationship Manager at One America Retirement Services in Indianapolis. It's my honor to welcome him today. Brad? Thank you. I will be brief because I'm the only thing between you and you, you, the time for you to get your degree. So, so on behalf of the Board of Directors of the University of Evansville Alumni Association and our over 31,000 members across the world, I have the honor of welcoming you to our ranks. Upon your graduation today, you will become our newest members. 
It's been a long time since I was a student, but I remember what it was like. You've spent a lot of your time and effort at the University of Evansville building up to this day. However, your relationship with UE is just beginning because your connection with an alum, as an alum is lifelong. So I encourage you to stay in touch with UE, a lot like what Dr. Gray spoke uh, about before. Show your support to UE in a multitude of different ways. You can go to ACE's sporting events. You can come back for homecoming. You can mentor a student. You can talk to classes. Or you can do something as simple as keeping up the tradition of wearing purple on Fridays. Cherish and, and maintain the relationships that you have here at UE. These, in, these relationships have enriched your life up to this point and can continue to enrich your life. But don't let it end there. Remember, there's 31,000 of us out there. So there are many new relationships for you to build. As you begin this new chapter in your life, and I will promise you there's going to be challenges. But seek out alumni to help you with those challenges. Those challenges could be something so simple as I'm moving to a new town and I don't know anyone to, I have some challenges with this new boss that I have and can you help me get through it? But once you walk across the stage and you shake Dr. Kazee's hand, you will be presented with a special gift from uh, the UE Alumni Association. You will be presented with a key. This key is symbolic as it symbolizes your UE education and the connections that you have to UE that can uh, unlock a world of opportunities for you. And it truly is a key. And it's a key to anything you want it to be. It can be the key to that first home that you buy, or maybe the key to that, the front door of the business that you establish. So again, congratulations on your accomplishments and welcome to the University of Evansville Alumni Association. We shall now proceed to the conferring of degrees. President Kazee, I have the honor of presenting to you the candidates for University of Evansville degrees. Will the candidates please stand? All of you? Yeah? On behalf of the faculty, I certify that these persons have completed the required courses of study at the University of Evansville, and they are presented to you for the conferring of degrees. Thank you, Dr. Austin. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, and on the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please be seated? I mean, except for those of you who are standing. <laughs> Dean Ray Lutgring will call forward the candidates for degrees for the Ridgeway College of Arts and Sciences. For the degree Bachelor of Arts, Patrick Justin Heston. Clara Jean Laughlin, magna cum laude. Victoria Long. Elizabeth Morrow. Megan R. Owens, summa cum laude. Also earning the degree of Bachelor of Science, Philip B. Smith. For the degree, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Danielle Ray Gillespie, summa cum laude. For the degree, Bachelor of Music in Music Therapy, Brittany Nicole Conrad.
for the degree Bachelor of Science. Anna Elizabeth Edelman, cum laude. Daniel Q. Albin. Raquel Denise Bailey. Brianna J. Baumholzer. Kristen Lynette Berman, summa cum laude. Courtney Alexandra Carpenter. Andrea Melissa Heradia Castillo. Hallie Claire Martin. Noor Midledge. Jared D. Maloff, cum laude. Gabriela M. Roman Latore. Morgan Squire, summa cum laude. Tyler Vest. Carrie Joe Wilson, summa cum laude. Dean Greg Grosky will call forward the candidates for degrees in the Schrader School of Business Administration. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Zen Yu Zhao. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Yusuf Abalawi. <laughs> Mohammed Salih Abdullah El Uhaydin. <laughs> Rayed El Saif. <laughs> Rui Chen. <laughs> Aliyah Jeshe Gaines. Zhao Yang Li. Carrie Lynn Nicole Pataco. Charles Alexander Runyon. Dean Mary Kessler will now call forward the candidates for degrees in the College of Education and Health Sciences. Those candidates receiving a graduate degree will receive the hood appropriate to the master's degree earned. For the degree of Bachelor of Science, Scott M. Garrison. <laughs> Vanessa Marie Hoffman. Marina Marino. Also earning the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Rebecca Erin Ackerman Taylor. For the combined degrees of Bachelor of Science and Master of Science in Health Services Administration, Brandon, Brandon Prescott Burns. Abigail Christine Hollis. <laughs> Munal Abdulazim Mansour. For the degree of Master of Science in Health Services Administration, Vera Rashkan. <laughs> For, 
Fabricio Miguel Rodizeno Vigil. Owuwu Ofu. In the trash. Dean Philip Gerhardt will call forward the candidates for degrees in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. For the degree, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, Anne Margaret Warden. For the degree, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Mustafa Alhaji. Graduates, the moving of the tassel on the mortar board from the right to the left symbolizes that you have been granted your degree. Congratulations and please move your tassel at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the December 2016 graduating class of the Univers University of Evansville. Will the graduates please stand and receive our congratulations. Now will the families and friends of the graduates please stand. Graduates, show your appreciation for their support. Now, if you would all stand and join us in singing the sesquicentennial class anthem we face the future unafraid. The text and music can be found in your program. Please be seated. In honor of today's graduates, you are all invited to attend a reception sponsored by the UE Alumni Association. The reception will take place immediately following this ceremony in the class of 1959 Gallery and Lounge in the Ridgeway University Center on the second floor. University Chaplain Dr. Tammy Gisselman will now close with our benediction. 
I would like to invite you to remain at your seats while the recessional exits the room following the benediction. Now hear this benediction from our beloved John Wesley, founder of the 18th century movement known as Methodism. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the peoples you can, as long as you ever can. May peace be upon us all. Shalom. Salam alaikum.